So we're just pulling up to the portage. It is 255 meters. It's gonna be an absolute breeze with two people. And after that, we are on the lake with our island. That's funny to say our island, eh? to the end yeah, yeah go ahead okay. that's a bear safety tip always let your girlfriend go first on the portages and you'll never get eaten by a bear <laughs> There's our island. What do you have to say about it? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Now that's an island. Alright, I don't feel like uh, getting all these fancy angles when I'm setting up the tent, so we're just gonna do this. <laughs> now maybe do it like like you like like go into the motion of like dropping the bag. Literally the easiest fire ever. <laughs> yeah. Light the birch bark, put sticks on. We've got an absolute dinner of champions tonight. Uh, I'm gonna let Petra have the honors to talk about it because this is actually her recipe. Uh, I would have never eaten this before meeting her, uh, but now it's one of my favorite meals. Well, it's not like the craziest thing. This is very simple to make. I'm vegan and he isn't. So we've got some Beyond Meat sausage here. This is really good. You get the same amount of protein per sausage as you would a regular one. So we're doing Beyond Meat sausage with spaghettini, which was his choice. That's his favorite type of Pasta. <laughs> no, spaghettini boils quick, and, and we're trying to save butane. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Peppers, onions, garlic, and then some seasonings. Very simple. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in this in this cast iron pan. The pan's going right in. Can we do the whole thing? Because we have three more. Yeah. We need two more. Huge shout out to my Aunt Linda for getting me this cook set back when I was 13 years old. <laughs> I just found it the other day and it's still in like mint condition. It's like perfectly fits my little camp stove as well as two little plastic bowls. Look at that. And it doesn't weigh that much at all. Here's my favorite part about this cook set, is that the lid itself actually has a strainer on it. Now we're adding the onions and peppers. Grab your trusty stir stick. Add a ring. Bada boom bada bing. I'm cutting that out. I can see that I'm Italian. Nice. 
This is, there's so much tree bark. <laughs> <laughs> it's like extra fiber. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me the other spoon. Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't get any. Here, watch out, I'll take that for you. I think this is amazing. Yeah, I won't lie, spaghetti actually really hits. <laughs> I washed my sausage hands off in the lake, and these fish are having a heyday. Your sausage hands. <laughs> my sausage hands. Look at that, they're jumping out of the water. So we spent the morning sitting on the edge of this cliff, just enjoying the view, soaking in the sunshine. Uh, I was planning on filming our little oatmeal breakfast here, but it was too good, we just crushed it. Uh, but we've got an exciting day ahead of us. We're gonna paddle into another lake that potentially has good fishing. And we're hoping to catch a fish to, to cook up some lunch or, or maybe dinner, depending on when we catch the fish. Do we have a clear path ahead? Uh, yeah, but keep us this way. Because there's two rocks coming up on this side. Do you hear a uh, waterfall? <laughs> So we paddled down that swampy river for about 10 minutes and then we had to cross a big beaver dam. And I thought that that river would take us all the way to the lake that we finally made it to now, 
but we ended up having to do a 750 meter portage that was absolutely grueling. It was a mission with this with this fiberglass canoe, which is super heavy, but we're here now and it's absolutely gorgeous. We're the only ones here. We just took a nice little swim and uh, yeah, now we're gonna do some fishing. I'm hooked into a nice bass here. Oh my god. Oh my god. First cast. First cast. Are That's you huge. Kidding? We're not eating this one, it's too big. Are you kidding me? Look at that. This is about a three and a half pound largemouth bass. A little too big for us to eat. Um, this is a, a good reproducing fish, but amazing. First freaking cast. Like we, we were five feet offshore when I cast it, uh, but I'm gonna let him go here. Can you uh, get the angle here? Oh. We spent a couple hours on this lake and we did really well fishing, but we decided that we're not actually gonna keep one. We brought so much food, so it would only be for the video and we're not gonna take a fish's life just for that. How is it with the pack? Fine. Okay. Of course, when we take a break, Ben has to cast. Look so. how fat that thing is. Though. Yeah. A belly on it. <laughs> that was like instantly though, I told you, there's gonna be there's gonna be a fish. Nice. Oh, it's a rock bass. So we just knocked off that last portage. We're on the last leg of our little journey here. We've made it to our swamp. Once we get through here, we're gonna go uh, across our 360 meter portage and then we're back to the lake with our little island. And it's gonna be nice to put the feet up and relax mm -hmm. next to the campfire tonight. This drop off is ridiculous. That was one hell of a journey, but we're back at the campsite now. We've emptied the canoe and we're gonna head back out to grab some firewood. So here's the firewood haul. Forgot to mention that uh, since we're on an island, there's very limited firewood supply. We're, we don't want to take down the trees that are here. So that's why we had to paddle to mainland to grab all this stuff. I'm gonna get the big logs here.
Petra's just prepping some tofu right now. Uh, tonight we're gonna do tofu with rice and veggies. We froze these two blocks ahead of time so that um, they would keep everything in the cooler really cold for the first day. And then by the time we have them today, they're fine to eat. You know, I'm not just saying this, but I never thought I would like tofu until I started dating a vegan. <laughs> yeah, I never thought I'd like tofu either until I became vegan. <laughs> So when we were planning for this trip, uh, we were planning on drinking all of our coffee out of this here by pot. But my dad came in clutch with a quick trip to Princess Auto and picked up these two little stainless steel mugs, which are awesome and I will take with me on so many adventures. And look at that. A little instant coffee action. Oh, they're going to be steep. Cheers. Cheers to start of another good day. Uh -huh. mm. That's so good. Today's gonna be a super chill day, so we decided to go above and beyond, and we organized all the sticks in the order that we're gonna put them on the fire. So we're gonna start it off with birch bark, of course, and then we've got these super skinny sticks, smaller sticks, medium sticks, and then some nicer sized logs to get the coals going, because we're cooking pancakes for breakfast. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, did you burn a hole? Maybe, maybe don't wear paper thin long johns when standing next to a fire because uh, you might get some holes in them. Okay, so we didn't bring a spatula. So I managed to take a little chunk off of this log uh, with the ax. And now I'm carving out a thin part so that we can flip the pancakes. So it's definitely not perfect by any means, but I think I'll use a piece of paracord to tie to this end and then get the spatula like that. Look at that. <laughs> this is definitely not gonna work. <laughs> well, we'll try. We'll see.
Should I? Well, that's what you've done, so. Move your hand. <laughs> Come on. That's gorgeous. Bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. Can't have pancakes on a lake in the middle of Ontario without some maple syrup on that bad boy. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> oh my god. The meal that I thought would be the most tedious to cook was actually the easiest. I know, the pancakes were the only thing that didn't stick to that pan. No. So the fishing mission may have been a failed one. <laughs> um, but we're gonna head back and make some good food anyways. And now we've got the evening just to chill. It's nice to chill. Today's just a chill day. Today's just a chill day. Some good old veggie skewers over the fire. See how that does? <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> Little drop of oil. We got some onions and garlic. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hold this because it looks like it's gonna fall. Yeah. Toss the other one in too. You can put both flavor packets in. Look at that fancy ramen with onions and garlic right on top. Look at that. <laughs> the skewers were a bit of a failed mission, but we're still gonna salvage it. Hey, cheers before we eat. <laughs> cheers. As you slowly go away from me This is only another test Every night you do not come The softness fades away Did I ever Shit. 
So I tried to say goodbye, my friend. I'd like to leave you with something more, but never. So we had a bit of a slow start to the morning. Uh, we both slept in, but that's totally fine. Uh, right now, I'm actually gonna paddle out in the canoe and get some wide angle shots of the island uh, with Petra standing on top of the cliff to give some good perspective. Uh, it'd be nice to have a drone to capture the beauty of this place, but this is the best I can do and I think the shots will be cool. So Petra is right there. Give a little wave. So sadly, it's now time to pack up camp. Uh, this is always the hardest part of the trip for me, but it's gotta be done. It's time to go home. Get a shower. That was four straight days of sunshine. That was a perfect balance between challenges and fun and relaxation. We, we really had such a good time. I wouldn't change a single moment about that. We also didn't see anyone else on the lake at all. We, we had it to ourselves the whole time until about 15 minutes ago. Uh, there were a couple groups paddling in as we're on our way out. That was an amazing trip. I also want to say thank you so much to Bruce and Shannon. We couldn't have made this trip happen without you. They lent us this canoe. Um, so uh, I appreciate you so much. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, I think that marks the end of this video. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs>